Back in the days when willing patients were scarce and surgery was mostly guesswork, there was a great demand for bodies to practice on. Some people weren't too fussy about where the bodies came from. Give them some pound ten. Uh, Body snatching was a thriving business, but the competition was fierce, even for two such enterprising gentlemen as William Burke and William Hare. Look, will you show a little respect for the dead man? Will you get your ass off the coffin? It was Mrs. Hare who first had a bright idea. What's on your mind, Mrs. <clears throat> don't wait for them to come here in day. We go and get them. Are you going to get them to come back here, will you? Oh, there's plenty. You'd pull you to hell itself for the chance of a free dram. And when you go on back here, what are you going to do with them? Sit and wait for them to die? Maybe not. In the ranks of a death, you'll find him. Hare was a jolly sort of villain. He obviously enjoyed his work. Meanwhile, Burke concentrated on the girls. And I've got a little comfortable place down at West Port. I was thinking that maybe you uh, you might be uh, moving in. What? The two of us? One would be enough for you, I fancy. Oh, now I'm full of life, you know. No doubt about it. Burke was quite a lady killer. In more ways than one. Mr. Burke? Of course, he had plenty of help from his buddy, Hare. Yeah. It was a natural death then, Dr. Knox? Oh, no, it was never a natural death. Every day is Halloween when that gruesome twosome, Burke and Hare, are on the loose. Watch out! Don't let them catch you or you'll end up on a slab. Body's been a healthy founder in another non-assertion lab. Beware of... 